commotion in your life if you love the wrong one you will make wrong decisions take the wrong actions just to please them madam welcome madam madam welcome madam thank you deeds food is ready no, i'm not hungry madam yeah. So, it was hard for me as a first son, after I lost my father. My mother, a staunch Christian, insisted I must give my life to Christ before she hand over my father's company. Can you imagine, I had to go back to Sunday school for four years before she handed over my father's company's account. Interesting. At least you were born with a golden spoon. Golden? Yes, golden. I thought it was a silver spoon. Well, silver spoons are usually gold who read it in school. And um, golden spoons are usually those heroes we see that take over the family legacy. Oh. Can you please break it down? Okay. Being born with a golden spoon comes with a lot of responsibility. You have to let go fantasies and focus on reality and greatness. Oh. So which of the categories do you belong? I'm not sure I was born with any spoon at all. <laughs> my father was a pan wine tapper, and my mother a petty trader. Well, you don't look like someone who has gone through a lot. Should we look like what we've been through? This is the point where hard work binds those who are born with golden spoon, those born with silver spoon. And those born with no spoon at all. Well, I am not just inspired by all you say, but amazed and convinced. <laughs> Miss good opportunities instead you create animosities just to please them just to please them you make mistakes that you will regret if you don't wake up to reality it could be too late for you Julie, Julie, take your calls now. And take your calls. I'm fine. I've been trying to reach Julie all day, but she's not taking my calls. Look at me last night. You worry yourself too so much. Maybe she's not with her phone. How? How can you say that? She's always with her phone now. She's always with her phone. I know. I know that. Yeah, this thing is natural. She might have dropped the phone somewhere. When she picks the phone, she will return your calls. I know Julie. She's never far from her phone. I know her so well. Francis, I really don't have the strength. I had a terrible day to be on this song again. Thanks for the drink. Thanks for the Um, I must say that you're really cool, smart, and bold. And I think you're forgetting one of my other friends. You're handsome. Oh, I just wanted you to break it down. <laughs> <laughs> so, where's the car? Oh, 
at the car park. And yours? I didn't come with mine. It broke down. It has electrical faults. But anyway, my cabman will soon be here to pick me up. Oh. Thanks. Don't worry. I'm ready to be a cabman soon. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to bother you, no, no. I'm just... And I will be glad to do that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, you know, my hey. emotions will be tied with, yes it will, the decisions and actions will be affected negatively, you'll be manipulated, oh, and taking advantage of, yeah, even when you find the one that's good for you, you may never know, because you were blinded by fantasy love. confusion and commotion in your life if you love the wrong one you will make wrong decisions take the wrong actions just to please them you could miss good opportunities instead you create animal cities just to please them just to please them you'll make mistakes that you will regret if you don't wake up to reality, it could be too late for you Because you could end up losing it all Okay. He has proposed because to you. He Who? proposed. Who? Francis. No. Guess what, girl? Guess what? I met the sweet guy. Damn! Dude is super duper dope. He swept me off my feet. I know you're not drunk. No, I am not drunk. What's going on? Annie, you need to see the guy. I was so vulnerable that I almost lost my breath. Yeah! yeah! He's so sweet. Okay. Um, Julie, I have never seen you this blunt and excited. This guy must be a super. Oh, he is! <laughs> Don't worry, I am going to invite him over so that you get to see this. Oh, shh! Oh, girl, you need to see him! <laughs> oh, don't worry, I know you don't understand. <laughs> Let me go in and continue reminiscing. Good morning. Good morning. 
Uh, so I decided to be the driver for today. Thank oh. you. Wow. <laughs> uh, Thank you. All right. Let me put it over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Madam. Ask the driver to get ready. We leave at two of the site. And the breakfast, madam? Not hungry. Oh, madam. Um, madam, that my brother, that my brother is, um, is was going to school, madam, on Sunday. You get your salary today, that's fine. Um, you can also ask him to come by and get some provisions. Oh, madam, madam. Thank you very, very much. God go bless you, madam. Anything for this life where you want, madam, God go give them for you, madam. Thank you, Edith. I'm good, madam. Who the hell does he think he is? Who the hell does he think he is? No. I put myself too low. No. You call me back. Like... No, no. I just got a cab to take this out for lunch. Oh. I have a very good appointment with my daughter. Still not a problem. You could um, go off and come back for that. No money to do. Okay. It's a lie. You were outside? No, 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 you got me kidding me. How are you outside? Okay, I'm coming right away.
driver. Ah. Sir. Where are we going tomorrow? The company. Which one? I bought you. Okay, ma. Finally, fine. Where is this place then? Okay, um, oh, yeah, oh, my newest project. I was oh. actually uh, building these projects for something else. But I think you need that. You can have that. Oh my god! Hey, come on, it's nothing. Ah, it's nothing. You deserve better than this. Probably you don't know what you've done to me. You brought life into me again. Meeting you is like God giving me a second chance to live. Listen. I will love you till the end of time. I want to adore you. I want to cherish you. I love you too. Thank you so much. Oh, alright, alright. Oh, you see, oh, there is an empty land at the back. That is a place I want to build up. Something like this for the homeless and beggars. Oh, you're a great man. You have such a good heart. Oh, thanks to God. Hmm? I'm so glad you came into my life. I bless the day I met you. Okay, son. <laughs> Happy birthday!
Yeah. <clears throat> I have something to tell you also. And I believe it's the right time to say it. Really? Yeah. What is it? Promise me you won't get angry. Why? Why would I be upset? Do you love me? Of course. You know that I love you so much. Here you are. When will I ever be at the right place, at the right time? But you please, I already had a bad day. Don't, don't, don't compound it, please. Francis, don't you get paid in your place of work? Why is it that each time I talk about money, you either want to forget or you change the topic? Uh, Bros, how do we pay our rent? Did you? I did not say we're not going to pay. Neither did I ever tell you that. I, I don't get paid at my place of work. Besides, when did I start working there? Listen, when they pay me my money, I'll bring that money and we'll pay for the rent. Oh, we look all these things you're doing, please. When they must have thrown us out, right? The land of not throw us out. I don't think he's a very good man. He's not going to throw us out. You think so? Yes, now. <laughs> Francis, you needed to see how long I was begging this man. You needed to see what it took me to beg this man to convince him to leave us. Well, then don't you have to keep on begging. What? So whenever he comes to you, beg him. You allow us to leave. I don't, I don't have strength for all this stress. I've been through a lot with oh, oh, Hold on, Francis. What are you trying to say? That I have a gift of begging? I'm telling you something. I've had enough stress today. You're still stressing my life. I don't want to stress my life like I don't want all this rubbish now. Okay, so what do I call you now? A prospective way. <laughs> Sweetheart, I was never expecting it. Mm. I'm telling you, Miles really surprised me. Who? I thought you said it was love at first sight. I'm just imagining things. Like, I'm going to have my own home, my own man, and say goodbye to the single girls association. Okay, so the rest I... of us should just die. Oh no, come on. Your man will soon come. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> But did you notice Franz was a bit upset? He was upset? Wait. He's not that I got engaged. Well, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to tell you. He has been trying to tell you how he feels about you. But you know that guy loves you. Oh, really? So I shouldn't have embraced the bed at hand and wait for the one in the bush? That's not what I'm saying. Anyway, he was not brave enough. 
to say his mind. <clears throat> and he shouldn't make it look like I hurt him. Mm -mm. I didn't hurt him. We were never dating. You know. Okay. Well, don't spoil the fun for me, girl. We need to pop some champagne. Because your girl is taken. Bring one. My go find one. We got a money to plan. <laughs> Happy. Hope all is well. Guess what, Ma? Oh, come on. You know, I am not good in guessing. What is it? Uh, Can you please open up? You want to know? You want to know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I proposed to her and she accepted. Who? The love of my life. Julie. Today is her birthday and I decided to propose to her and Mom, guess what? She accepted. So and she I, accepted. Did you yes. tell her about your head condition? Well, come on, I, I would definitely tell her, but not now. My son, you need to tell her. Eh? So that she will know if she can live with you or not. I know, it's not too necessary, but I would definitely tell her before our wedding day. Ah, my dear, you need to tell her. It's very, very necessary for you to tell her. See, I will not be part of that marriage if you did not tell her about your health condition. And by the way, when is she coming to see me? If I go back? Um, um, she will come very soon. When she's less busy, I'll bring her to see you. Uh, let her come on Sunday. All right. <clears throat> uh, Mom, so exhausted. I'm going to bed. Good night, Mom. Can we pray before you go to bed? Oh, uh, uh, Mom, don't worry. Just pray. I'll pray in my room. When I'm sleeping, I'll pray inside my hands. Pray for us. Are you checking your time? Look, since you left with flower this morning and came back, you've been this way. You've been looking so sad. Wow. I've got that this life, eh? Ah! This life is not balanced at all, though. At all. Oh, what happened? Huh? Is, is your mother sick again? All right. You saw me the flower, yeah? Yes, I did. That's because today... Today is Judy's birthday. Oh. Oh, yesterday, actually. It was already 12. Ah. I left the house with the flower. Okay. Went out to the supermarket, bought some other things with my hard-earned money. So that I can present it to my... My Judy. For her birthday. Only for me to get there. And another man was, uh, was proposing uh, uh, to her. Don't say. Uh, you're kidding, right? Like, you're not serious. Did you say you saw another man proposing to her? I brought I said I saw another man proposing to my dream. Ha! Eh? Wait, who? Did, did she accept the proposal? Did she? My brother, she said yes. Oh. This man even bought her a brand new car. A car? Ah, the difference is clear now. My brother, you went with a flower and someone came with a car. Ah, the difference is clear now. Love now, your mate. If now you, which one you could take? Ah, if you had even gone there with a garden, she would have said no. If you had gone there with a farm, <laughs> A car. Ah. 
The difference is clear. Do so you think I'm joking? You're asking me if love is my mate. I don't I don't understand. I'm telling you something very important that's disturbing me right now. You're, you're no. asking me. No, 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 my brother. What I'm trying to say is you've been wasting your time. I mean, the young man gifted her with a car. And you carry all the flower go. Wish I don't say the flower not reach 5k, bros. The difference is clear now. Love not be your mate, my brother. Sometimes more they accept the fact that love not be our mate. All I know is that I'm going to get my Julie back. How? I will fight for what is mine. I will fight. You have started again. You will fight with what? Is it with flower? Somebody that have car. Somebody that could that could gift a girl with a car. You don't know the kind of weapon where she go, where go to stay, wait, to fight you. What do you want? My brother, leave that battle. You don't lose and leave her, leave her, leave her. He who fights and run away lives to fight another day. Just assume say you don't already lose, yeah? And be wait, so which kind of car? Is it Benz or I know the car will be very expensive. Did you did you test the car? Oh, sir, I don't forget enough of you, Bayern. Ah, my brother, no reason not too much. If you had gone there with a garden, nasty lost battle. Ah, oh, wow. Your finest no help you out for this one. My brother, it's midnight, so I don't go inside, go sleep. Or if you like, you can sit here, or probably you want to be hearing the sound of how the guy is hitting her really hard from behind. It's late to me tomorrow, just go up. Try coming, Sammy, you know. doing everything possible to show you what I feel for you. I care for you. I check up on you. I call you all the time. I buy you gifts. Why can't you see that I have something for you? Something very special. Enough of the emotional drama already. We were just friends. If you think because you buy me gifts or because I accept gifts from you means I owe you any form of affection, then you're wrong. We were just friends. What is wrong with you? Look at me. I am in love with you. You are the only place in my heart that no one else can take. Just stop. Stop already. I love you. I am not the kind of woman who knows how to share her feelings with two men. To me, it's not too late. Yes, you can share this feelings with me. Please, I, I, I beg you. Francis, please. I do. Come on, you don't have to work yourself up because of that small girl. All you need to do is push through. Well, I'm happy now, Chandu. Mm -hmm. Alright, um.
I am going for lunch. I would want you to make sure the proposal is ready before I come back. I'll do that. Hey, let's go. Oh, oh, that reminds me. My mom wants to get things. Really? Yes. I, I can't wait to see her too. Why don't we go today? Alright, I want to go for lunch. Make sure you lock up when you're done. All my tiny emotions will be toyed with. Yes, it will. The decisions and actions will be affected negatively. You'll be manipulated. Oh, and taking advantage of. Yeah, even when you find the one that's good for you. By fantasy love, you were blinded by fantasy love. What is it? You can't just stand there looking at me as if I have done something wrong to you. Can I get paid for half the lot? I don't understand. You want to resign? Yes. All right. No problem. When will I get half my salary? I'll get back to you. Stupid decision. You're back. I am so cool. You're back so early today. Yeah, I was able to be happy. Mm. So how was what today? What? Book was fine, um, except that your friend resigned for reasons best known to him. Francis resigned? Yes. Why? I wouldn't know. Maybe you call him and ask him. I don't understand how he expects me to leave miles for him. I knew he wanted to take care of seeing you in miles all the time. But why should he resign? Well, that is not about tea. Yeah, how are you? Um, I need to see you. And it's very urgent. It's important. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's okay. Um, Francis. Yes. It is only a weakling that can close the door of fortune because of a woman. See, if fate wants you and Julie to be together, nothing can stop it, not even you. I mean, why shut the door of your career because of a woman? Why? 
And I'm very sure you do not understand how I feel. Because if you do, <laughs> you'll be seeing all these things. I cannot get back to that office. Because I do not want to do something that I will regret all my life. How do you get it? I do. Okay, why not speak to the man that gave you the job? Let him walk your transfer out. Tell him, oh! Tell him! Tell him! This is the exact thing I've been telling him. Huh? There's no job in this country, and someone finds a job and wants to throw it away just like that, simply because of love. Or, what am I even saying? Love or, or, or one woman? Please. I'm not in the mood to start exchanging words with you today. Go back inside and mind your business. Now, what's your problem? Bros, am I running any business inside the house? Huh? Right again, he, again, he provision store that they do for the I will never close my mouth. Please help me tell him. Let him come back to it. He no get sense. As in, now, now which are the sofa since so sense not did this head. Eh? Would you mind yourself? Mind yourself. No, come back and continue talking now. You don't mind your business inside. Can you imagine? Um. I can speak with Julie to re-employ you. Please, please, don't even go there. Don't go there. Huh? I, I, I can't go back to that office. I, I don't want to go back there. Okay, I'll, I'll be on the lookout for a job for you. If I see any, I'll definitely let you know. I'll be kind of you. Thank you very much. Just take care of you. Thank I'll call you. you again. It's all right, take care. Why weren't you at work yesterday? I uh, I was not feeling fine. And today? I resigned, ma. You resigned? Yes. You resigned without telling me? I'm sorry about that. Get into the car. Can you please get into the car? All right, ma'am. Why did you resign? Personal decision. Personal decision? Personal decision will not put food on your table. It will not pay your bills. Can you please honestly tell me why you resigned? Emotional pressure. What does that even mean? You're a man. Your mother depends on you. Why make her suffer if you can help? I want to apply for a driving job. What? Yes. A commercial driver? No. A company driver, actually. Have you found a place? Yes, I have. Where is that? May Claire Cosmetics. How much is salary? I do not know for now, but I, I'm fine with anything. I'm fine with anything. Good morning, please sit. Um, I'm expecting somebody. He's going to come here looking for the job of a driver. I'll give you his appointment letter and um, every other detail you will need. So when he comes, don't let him into my office. Just give it to him and he'll go. 
Don't forget, once he resumes, he doesn't have to come to the office. He goes to the garage, picks the truck, takes the goods or whatever to the customer, okay. and then returns the car back to the garage. All right, ma'am. But sorry, ma'am, what was his name? Francis. Okay, ma'am. Don't forget, he doesn't come to the office. Okay, ma'am. Vehicle from the garage to the customer, customers back to the garage. Thank you. Good day, ma'am. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here to sign my application for the post of a driver. Oh, you're the one? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, you don't have to apply anymore. Um, the job is yours, sir. I, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't understand. Sir, my boss instructed me that I should give the job to the first person that comes to the office. You are the first person to come to the office and you're the lucky person. So, congratulations, sir. Sorry, wait. This is the appointment, sir. Sorry, ma'am. Ma are, are, you, are you saying that I already have the job? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You're thank welcome, you, sir. thank you so much. Congratulations, uh, sir. This, is, there, is there a way for me to, to go inside and, and thank the boss myself? No, no, that will not be necessary, sir. Um, my boss, she's not on sick now. And tomorrow, you will start the job. But there's an instruction you, you operate from the factory. And you will come here based on invitation. Okay, okay. That's not a problem. Okay, Thank sir. you very much, madam. Thank you're you. You're welcome. And, and please help me thank the boss, okay? Uh, what um, about my CV? Yeah, yes. This is very important for equipment and documentation. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. You don't know how, this, how much this means to me. Thank you. Please help me thank the boss. All right. I have to take my leave now, right, so I right. prepare. <laughs> thank you, ma. All right, bye. Thank you. Hey! Uchi. Enjoy. Man! You can't believe what happened to you today. Oh. <sighs> okay. I went to the company for the job I told you about. Okay. For the interview. I got there. The receptionist handed over the key to me and told me she was instructed to give me the keys so I could start the job immediately. Uh -uh. Bro, no interview, no CV. They just give me an appointment letter. And that's it. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that, too, Buchi. Imagine. See my guy, Francis, you're lucky. You are that again. In fact, you're not just lucky. God loves you. Just like that. You can say that again. I don't know what I've done for God to love me so much like this. That's the thing, though. You know, the God we serve is a merciful God. Oh, yes. And yes, but my problem yes. with you, I just hope you are not going there again to fall in love. You know, you and this, your emotional breakdown issues. Please stop saying this and just saying it. It's all right. I'll just go there and walk. Yeah, better, huh? it's better you go there and walk. Yes. Please, I'm happy for you. Congrats to my guy. Ha -ha. It's very rare, this country now. Uh, yes, I know. But I hope my, my, my own food is inside the pot. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, because I'm very hungry right now. I did not cook, bros. So where, where did you get this from? Bros, I got this one on the wheel. Are you okay. serious? Smells really nice, oh. Ah, come on. Ah, I can't be inside the water and then soup will enter my eye. Let me enjoy myself with you, my brother. Huh? <laughs> Man, I when can't. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, so. Ah. I've started already. Yeah, indeed, lucky. Ma. Uh, hey! Mama. I know! 
Take it, take it, take it. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my son. How are you? I'm fine. Jesus. Mama, at least offer us a seat. Oh my God. Okay. Eh, it's all right, I'll yes. tell you. <laughs> Meet Miles, my husband to be. Your husband to be? Yes, Mama. You're welcome, my son. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, we are here for the marriage list. Yes, so sorry. <laughs> That's how he wants it to. He'll be going to Scotland for his PhD. So he wants us to do everything before he leaves. Yes. Let me see. What's going on? Talk to me, Julie. What did he do to you? Julie! Shut up and get out. What? I said... Shut up and get out. Listen, Julie, if he hurts you, trust me, I'll, I'll take this up. Yeah. <laughs> 